Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This one should be pretty packed up and hopefully it's gonna be very fun. So we are building a bike again but this time it's gonna be for a friend of mine. He doesn't know about it so the plan is I've invited him to ask him a few questions in front of you about his current bike which is pretty bad and after that we're gonna surprise him with the new bike that we're gonna build today. It's not gonna be a new bike, it's gonna be with some parts that I have laying around but still this will be a much better bike than he currently has and definitely greater value. So we're gonna be using the frame right here. I, show, I showed you this frame in one of the last videos. I already started actually putting some parts on it. So the caliper brackets are on and the hanger as well. I've put one of the crank arms. I've put this um, mudguard on here because it's gonna be easier when the wheel is not in and we don't have cables etc and let me show you some of the parts with that we're going to be using so this is a really budget belt so basically we're going to be using disc brakes but these disc brakes are going to be uh, mechanical disc brakes still better than rim brakes so this is definitely an upgrade from his current setup it's going to be a 3x8 drivetrain and yeah i have all my hardware here and also some good grips some paddles i might change these pedals but these are the only ones that i have at the moment that don't need a service so yeah that's pretty much it so i won't bore you with the build and i'll just throw the time lapse and catch you guys when the bike is done let's go And the bike is done. Wow, it looks great. Especially with these forks, they look pretty nice. A few things that I added. First, new chain, new cassette, and a new pair of tires. So these are Schwabe Marathon. These tires are puncture proof. So we are trying to prevent any punctures happening while my friend is committing to work. And yeah, I went for a spin with the bike. It feels pretty nice. It's pretty fast, the gears shift nicely, everything is smooth. So I think we're done here. What's next? I'm gonna call my friend. He will come with his bike, we're gonna show it to you, ask him a few questions about it, and in the end, we're gonna reveal this bike and tell him that we just built this bike for him. Oh, I hope he likes it, I am excited. Let's see how it goes. My friend should be on his way anytime now. I have the bike right here in front of me. Hopefully he wouldn't notice it because it looks almost the same as my current commuter bike. Uh, also, he wanted me to fix his wheel. His rear wheel. Because he had a puncture and I put a fresh tube on it. And look at this, he has six gears on the back. Wow. So we're definitely giving him an upgrade. Let's see how it goes. Unfortunately, my friend couldn't make the previous appointment, so we are a few weeks later in the future and um, I have the bike here. I'll tell him that I use this bike to mock up the scene. We're basically gonna do the interview outside. Uh, he won't be on camera because he's a bit camera shy, but that's okay. And we're gonna ask him a few questions and then surprise him with the bike. <sighs> okay, let me remove this bike from here real quick.
and we're gonna put this thing of beauty. <laughs> One second. Oh. Okay. A few moments later. Yeah, much better. Wow. Pretty interesting bike we have here. So my friend is behind the camera over there. Let me see if that thing is recording. Something, yeah. So, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for bringing your bike for this uh, review kind of video here. First question for you. Can you rate your bicycle mechanic skills from one to 10? Uh, I would rate my bicycle mechanic skills definitely at a one. At I don't, a one? I don't know anything about bikes. I even had trouble just removing a tire, <laughs> let alone just dismantling a bike or uh, anything that's more sophisticated than that. Okay, okay, that's a good start. Um, so where did you buy where did you buy this bike from? I bought it from uh, Evan Cycles uh -huh. online. The, it's a shop that sells bicycles. Yeah. So how much did it cost? Uh, it cost 149 pounds. Wow. For the bike. Brand new, 149 pounds. So how long did you have this bike for? Uh, I've had it for... Actually, it's... Th this is March, so I've had it exactly for one year now. One year? Yes. Okay. And I've probably ranked more than almost 3,000 miles on it. 3,000 miles? Almost 3,000 miles. Wow. Yeah. Well done. So you cycle all well then? I cycle almost 50 to 70 miles a week. A week? Yes. Well done. So tell me something you liked about this bike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I it's... know this is maybe the toughest <laughs> questions of them all. But... Uh, I guess from point A to point B, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. All okay. right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got decent suspension i would say i don't feel most yeah. of the bumps yeah decent, decent suspension yeah. but apart from that it's just a <laughs> generic bike yeah 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 uh, you yeah. have one very funny story about trying to fix your rear delayer so a bit of background his rear delayer was quite messed up i will probably put a picture right here <laughs> so he tried to go to a mechanic so can you tell us what happened I went to a bike shop and uh, the guy just came out. He didn't even, he just took one glance at the bike and he was like, I don't work with these bikes. And he just went back to the shop. He didn't even say, hello, how are you? He just looked at it and was like, no, I don't work with this. And he just, just went back inside. Oh okay. yeah. And then you, you brought it to me. <laughs> and then I brought it to you and you fixed it in less than like 10 minutes. I was surprised. <laughs> I, th I thought we were gonna have to buy a brand new part. It yeah. looked extremely mangled. It, it was bent in a shape that I didn't think was worth salvaging. Okay, but, but the it bike, worked. <laughs> the, the bike wizard fixed it. And dare I say it, it was actually better than brand new. Okay. It was actually, I would say straighter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did some adjusting and that made it uh, yeah. a bit better. Yeah. So after all, do you think it was worth buying this bike? For 149 pounds? No, I think I would have gotten a much better deal even if I bought a second hand bike that was uh, for the same amount that was probably worth more two or three years ago. Yeah. And uh, I didn't look take that much good care of it where I sh probably should have, but I definitely wouldn't buy, buy it again. Okay. No. Okay. So definitely not worth it. You're gonna go maybe on the second hand market and probably probably buy another one and definitely splurge a little bit uh i've now learned that it's an investment when you buy a bike yeah and it's always better if you buy good stuff because good stuff lasts longer definitely yeah. makes sense yeah okay good so actually there is something else we want to do in this video so you've always asked me like if i have um a bike for sale or something like that yes and i actually built a bike for you really? with spare parts that I have laying around in my garage. And actually, this is the bike. Okay. So let me bring it here. So if you don't like it, it's fine. But I tried to put everything that, basically all the requirements that you had, basically disc brakes, nice puncture resistant tires. Puncture resistant tires. And yeah, nice size frame. I put some mudguards because this, I think, I reported and you don't have this on your no, I bike. Don't. 
And I think the frame is just your size because we're similar height. And it yeah. looks lighter as well. <laughs> yeah, if you want, you can lift it. Let's see. Let's see if I can. It's definitely lighter. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what else? Basically, I've put a new cassette and a new chain, brand new chain on, on it. Also, fresh cables. You have now 24 gears. 24 of, gears. Instead of uh, 18. Uh, 17. <laughs> uh, 17. <laughs> so, yeah. You want to give it a try around the block? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have a go with the bike. Let me remove this old piece of uh, greatness. This can go into the museum now. <laughs> oh, man. We should probably weigh this and see <laughs> what is the difference. Yeah, I can just hold this with one hand. Oh, now I have to. Okay, talk to me. What do you think about it? Do you like it, first of all? Because I... I'm a bit uh, nervous if you don't like it. So I definitely do like the bike. <laughs> And it's got mud guards, which in uh, our region's weather is definitely, definitely a must. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've gone home with like, uh, mud everywhere. just mud everywhere, <laughs> just sprayed on my on my face and on my back. <laughs> it's definitely a plus. It's extremely light, and for the first time since I got the old bike, I could feel that I'm going faster with every pedal pedal swing yeah rather than just doing just... two strokes and then the the bike just completely stops yeah i always thought that because it was uh the tires were too big and the threads were had too much grip yeah but um the bike expert said here it's just too heavy and after i checked all of his bikes <laughs> it's definitely just the weight it's way too heavy for it to be a a good good road bike a good road bike yeah, yeah. Cool. and all the gears change perfectly it's a uh, it's a joy to ride. Yeah, and yeah. it's much under your budget, right? So you said you have like two hundred or something. Pounds. I had a two hundred and twenty budget to get a new bike. I was ready to splurge, but <laughs> this bike cost how much to make? Eighty quid. Eighty quid, and it's at least ten times better than everything <laughs> I've ridden uh, yeah. here. Yeah. So yeah, basically, I managed to use some parts that I had laying around. So this made the bike much cheaper and yeah hopefully you're gonna enjoy it on your way to work every day and again if there are any uh, future problems hopefully not that many compared to the old bike yeah you know where i am so we can always have the a look bike at doctor it. is, is uh, always bike here doctor, to fix it. bike wizard everything. the bike wizard yes yeah okay he's definitely is a bike wizard that's cool. the nickname we've given him <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much all joining me today and being on the channel i really appreciate it always it's always a pleasure and enjoy the new bike thank you very much